Hey guys, it's Roscoe, and on the Space Coach Day, when I was in Bromley yesterday, I went into HMV and I acquired this. Spider-Man Homecoming. Hadn't seen this previously, and I really liked his performance in um, uh, Infinity War. So I thought I would check this out, because I know this has gotten really good reviews. And so I did start watching yesterday, haven't finished it. I thoroughly love it. It is great. He's a great Spider-Man. No wonder they've tied him down for six movies, although I think... Well, you think everything that he has been in or that's coming out, there's only one <laughs> to go that has not been started. But yes, because he's well, obviously he was in uh, Civil War, Avengers, first Spider-Man movie, second Spider-Man movie that's coming out later this year. I assume he will be in uh, Endgame and then that just leaves one other. But yeah, he's a great actor. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. I watched this up to uh, the part where he meets Liz's father. <laughs> well yeah he's a really good spider-man and his best mate ned oh he is hilarious and um tony stark is really good in this as well and i did really like how they used captain america for the instructional school videos uh, this guy's probably a war criminal now but you have to watch this <laughs> so yeah spider-man homecoming and it really feels like it is an mcu movie um I mean, who doesn't love Spider-Man? But I think this is the best iteration of Spider-Man I've seen for a while. I did really like Tobey Maguire in the, certainly the first one. And I think also the second one. The third one I don't even remember. Andrew Garfield, I think I saw the first one. But it's just like, it's only been five years or so since we saw this exact same story playing out with Tobey Maguire. And um, I was watching Spider-Man two or the second Garfield one with Mike and Dee years and years ago uh, but we kept interrupting and putting it on pause and just talking and segueing about stuff and we realised we had had the movie on pause for an hour and the image that was on the, f the screen was a toilet bowl <laughs> which seemed kind of apt for that Spider-Man movie but this this is a great Spider-Man movie. I really like his performance in it. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Far From Home now. But yeah, who doesn't love Spider-Man? But this was great. Haven't finished it, as I say. I'm probably going to re-watch it all with Mike in due course. Maybe later today. We've been looking for something new to watch because we've got one episode of Star Trek Discovery Season 1 to go. And we've had one episode for like a fortnight or something. We just can't bring ourselves to watch it because as much as we do enjoy it it can be quite draining intellectually trying to pass your way through some of the stuff that happens in there that does not really make logical sense because it's always got to be a drama somehow but anyway this is about spider-man not star trek discovery thoroughly enjoying this as i say and i shall let you know when me and God, me and mike have watched it and what he thought of it as well please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.